G'day guys, welcome back. I felt like doing a little experiment and I wasn't going to video it and then I thought oh, whenever I don't video them that's when they work. So I thought I'll just video it. Now I'm using the Art Coat from Platinum um, but I wanted to wait and see what happened um, if I got it to 40 degrees because the last couple I did um, I just poured, piped, worked really well but I just want to see what happens um, if I get it to 40 degrees same as I do with the Platinum 360 Plus. So let's have a little look. 37 38, <laughs> I can't see, I'll turn it back towards me, 39, 2, 39, 9, okay, we're at 40 degrees, so I'm going to clean this off quickly before I get started, okay, um, I think I'll just spray my mold just lightly around the edges. Now I only made up a hundred grams of resin. <laughs> I was only going to do a coaster and then I thought mm, it's a bit much for one coaster. Oh, and now it's probably not enough. Never mind. Um, little experiment. A little bit in there. A little bit in there. I probably haven't got enough. Oh gosh. Oh, I'll just spread it. It'll be nice. It'll be thin. And then if I want to do a top coat, I can do a top coat. Because I'm not used to working with a one-to-one -one resin. I usually do a two-to-one resin. Um, so I made up, I only made up 100 grams. But um, normally when I do just one coaster, I only use like about 50 grams. So I thought, well, I've got enough here for two coasters. Oh, maybe I can do one bigger one. This is a 20 centimeter round. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if I've got enough, but we'll see. We'll see if I can spread it to the edges, eh? So it's pretty thick. This resin has a work time of 45 minutes. I hope I'm not gonna waste it now by pouring it a bit thin. Yeah, 45 minutes. But um, yeah, like I said to you, I want to see what happens when I let it sit for a, a little bit. And that was 20 minutes. I'm just going to write this down. Eight, ten. Okay. See, it doesn't really want to move because it's quite a thick resin. It's an art coat resin. The top coats probably do waves too. When I get into my new studio I want to try and do waves. So I haven't really done much in the way of waves. All right, is that it? I got to the edges on all of them. <laughs> it's very sparse. Oh gosh. Never mind. Once I start pouring this extra in it should help a little bit as well. So the experiment today is, um, you know how I always use a white pigment paste. Well, what about if I used like a different coloured pigment paste? Bubbles in the edge there. So I've got um, the hair. I'm going to get resin on my glove. Um, I've got these two. And I thought these would look pretty together. Look at that. These are by Lorez. And that one's white sand and that's smoky blue. So I'm not going to use any white. I'm just going to try a little bit of this. To me, they look as if they've got white, you know, mixed into them because they're quite a, they look very opaque. So to my eye, they look as if they've got white. So I'm going to treat them as if they've got white in them. I'm just going to, I'll keep whatever's on the side because I don't think they'll be quite as opaque as white. Oh, I just dropped some in there. Um, oh gosh, maybe I shouldn't have videoed this. It might be a, a blooper video. I can't get it out. All right, so that's going to be that creamy, sandy colour. I really don't need much at all. There's only a little bit in there. 
And then the other one, let's have a look at this one, is this bluey colour. I haven't even opened it yet. Ah, it's not wasted. Got it on my gloves now, gosh. Making a mess. Making a mess. Um, yeah, so I thought these two would be pretty together. They, they remind me of the beach, you know, of sand and of water, these two together. So hopefully they'll look pretty. Give it a stir because it's never been used before. Make sure it's all mixed in well. Scrape, scrape. Drop in. We'll see what that looks like. I really should try and get this out, this little bit here. Okay, let's give that a stir. Probably even put too much in. Probably should have wiped the sides as well, because normally I, I wipe the sides as well. But I'm not going to scrape the stick, I'm just going to use that, because it looks quite opaque to me. I'll just do that so it's not going to drip. Clean my little sticks off, so I can reuse those sticks. I don't want to waste your sticks, they can be used more than once, that's for sure. Hey, wipe my stir stick, use him again. Oops, now he's got blue on him, won't matter. Okay, now I'm going to do my little swirly bits, my little petals with the stick, my little silicone stick. Now, I need a mouthful of my hot chocolate. I've got a hot chocolate sitting here. <laughs> mm. Right, now then, um, oops, there's some more bubbles. It takes a while to get organised, doesn't it, to get to where you need to get to. All right, so now it's, uh, let's see, 8.15, write that down. Okay, um, let's start. I think I'll start with the blue. And I don't need to worry about, you know, re-dipping, like cleaning each time, because I'm just using the blue, aren't I? So, that's the middle. Is that more? Let's go with that for the middle. We'll do a petal, and a petal, and a petal, and have I got another one of these or do I need to clean that one? Let me have a little look quickly. Um, no, I'll have to clean this one. That's okay. I can clean that one. Not a problem. Something sticky there. I don't want to get it on my arm. Okay, now the next one. My, oh gosh. I'm going to need to come back and do these a bit thicker. If you don't put enough colour in there, it won't spread properly. Right, we'll clean that off. And go with the next one. I'll try not to touch the blue because I don't want the blue going into my creamy colour. What would you say that? Is that cream? Is it beige? It's kind of like a pale yellow, isn't it, really? Okay, so that's the next layer. Let's go with the blue now. I'm basically just wiping the bottom of that stick as I come out of my little cup, just so that it doesn't get a big blob. It's only a very gentle wipe though, like I, I want to keep a lot of the colour on my stick, I don't want to take too much off. Add a bit more if you need to, because remember it won't spread very far if you don't make it thick enough. Okay, back to the yellow. So I'm confident, hopefully, <laughs> that it'll work. I don't know. I, I have no idea. But, I mean, they do look kind of opaque, don't they, these two colours? 
So hopefully they've got white in them. Because to get light colours like this, you do mix them with white. Oops, that's a big blob there. Hopefully I don't get a blobby on the back. And one more. Whoops, <laughs> another little blobby. I'm just going to go through and take out some of these blobs that I've made. Otherwise, they may well turn into blobbies on the back. If you leave them there so we'll do that and then I'll do the same with the blue no blue blobbies okay try and get that out doesn't matter if it's a little bit there all right here we go with the blue feel free to fast forward if you don't want to watch me doing this so with my little silicone stick, I'm actually putting it into the clear resin. It's not just sitting on top like I would with a piping bag. It's actually going into the resin. Pick up that little blob. I'm making quite small petals, aren't I? I wasn't planning to when I started. I was just going to do petals, but they, they've ended up... <laughs> Quite small. Right, same thing, break up those little blobs if you've got any. Okay, hopefully it won't interrupt my yellowish petal underneath by me bringing my stick through it. I'll have to go back and do that little blue one again. There's not enough there. Make them a little bit thicker up here and just see if it makes any difference. I don't even know whether or not I've actually got enough resin, clear resin, in my mould to actually have this work because it's very, very thin amount of resin in there. So it may not even work with such a small amount of resin. Normally I have like half full with my coasters. Or any mould really, about half full. Okay, just put a little bit more if I need to, and a couple of them. Fix those little blobbies. And that little bit out of there <laughs> it's so thin oh my gosh so thin oh there's a blob look at that get that out I don't, don't even know if it's blooming yet it doesn't it doesn't seem to be blooming all right let's do the last layer it will be the blue And I'll just take this blue up to the edge. Shouldn't hold my cup over the top, should I? I might drip into it. It's best not to. going all the way around I'm looking at the center and it doesn't look as if it's doing much I'm just wondering if maybe I've not put enough color on those for it to actually do anything going to thicken them up because I've got a little bit of blue left. OK, 
okay. Fix a few little blobbies. Doesn't look as if it's blooming all that well, but we'll see. I'm going to go in with my leftover cream and thicken up a few of those areas as well. just doesn't seem to be blooming all that well now that could be because I've got such a thin amount of resin in the mold it's just not moving it's probably that it's probably all my fault should have just stuck to the coaster shouldn't I yes I should have never mind I have to do it again try with just a coaster all right now I'm going to do a little bit of a swirl through the center just like that all right and that is all I can do looks a bit messy <laughs> oh, it looks very messy A little bit thicker. Okay. I think that will do. Um, that's, just, that's pretty much all I can do. Get rid of that. Clean up my mess. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just not sure about this one, whether it's going to work or not, because, like I said, I've hardly got any resin in here. It probably comes up a quarter. That was silly of me, wasn't it? Silly of me. I should have just stayed on the couch watching Survivor and not come in to do anything, but I wanted to try something, nevertheless. All right, that's all cleaned up. Another little torch. A bit of heat in the middle. My heat gun is packed, so I can't I can't torch it like with the heat gun. All I can do is pop bubbles with this. Some hot chocolate. It's probably cold chocolate now. Mm. All right, I'm just going to go and grab my phone off the tripod, and um, we'll have a little look to see what it's doing. Well, I'm not very confident that it's going to work. So the outer edges um, are blooming, yes, yay. But the middle's not doing anything. Look, it may still do it. Um, or it may not, I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see see what happens because you know how resin moves from the outside in so you know the outside's got further to go the inside it doesn't have much movement because it's not got very far to go to get to the middle so it may not work and also with my resin being so thin look at that look at that I've only got like a quarter I'm not even that <clears throat> that was silly of me. Um, so yeah, it, there's not much movement in the resin because it's very thin. So it may well not work. But look, um, how about I come back to you in about an hour. I'm going to go and watch Survivor, uh, the replay. And then I'll come back to you and we'll see if the middle has closed up a bit. It may do. I'll, I should just be patient. See you soon. Right, so I'm back. It's been about an hour. And... Really not expecting this to have done anything, but oh, let's have a little look. See, see what it's doing. Do you think it's closed over? Oh, look! Hasn't gone all the way. Most of the way. Just not the last little bit. I wonder if it will go any further.
Mm, I don't think so. It's pretty thick. I might actually, I will, not might. I'll swirl from here. Otherwise, it's going to look a bit weird, isn't it? All right, let's try that. Uh, I think I'll start from the outside. Because you can see how thick it is now. So this is just a little experiment. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be amazing or anything. Oh gosh, look at that. But um, it's got to be better than leaving it like it was. But look, it's it's closed in a lot. It looks pretty, doesn't it? it does look pretty. <gasps> I'm super keen to see what it's going to look like on the other side. Just to show them about that middle bit there. Hmm. More experimentation is needed. I wonder if it would close up further if I didn't wait for it to thicken, like to get to 40 degrees. See, that's another experiment now that I have to do. But these, look at these, these are looking amazing. Look at the blending of the colours. The petals are looking incredible. But I have no idea what the other side's going to look like. It may be all blobby. I don't think so. Like, I don't. I'm just... Ugh. Anyway, I'll unmould it tomorrow and I will give it another try. It's all you can do. Keep experimenting. I'll see you tomorrow for the unmoulding. So it's the next day. We've set up. A little bit bendy still because this resin takes a bit longer to set up than um, the one I'm usually usually use the um, 360 plus but I'm really keen to see what it's going to look like on the other side now I know this isn't amazing on the inside so don't yell at me <laughs> or give me thumbs down or anything and say eh, it's not good it was an experiment um, what I thought I would do if it's nice on the other side I may go and put some um, glass uh, crushed glass or glitter and then a top coat just to fix that um, but we'll see and, and I'll show you how to save a piece if the middle hasn't worked out okay because you know how sometimes you swirl and then it's just not nice or something or anyway I'll show you if, if this works I'll do that um, and we'll see if we can save it a little bit of something happening there oh that's where I picked a bit of blue look how bendy it is still there was a little bit of blue that went up the side and I picked it. Oh my gosh, look how thin it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never ever done one that thin. It's just ridiculous being that thin. All right, we'll flatten it out. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I hope it works. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. That, look at that. Look at the middle. It's okay. Oh, I was really worried. I mean, there's a little bit of a gap there. Wow. <laughs> oh, I had no idea it was going to turn out that well. Look at that. Uh, we, can, we can deal with the middle, can't we? It's okay. But look, I really think it came down to the fact that this is so thin that there just wasn't enough movement in the resin, you know, it got that far and then thought, no, I can't go any further. Oh, look at that, alrighty. Well, those uh, pastes have worked out well, haven't they? So I'll show you what they are close up. Uh, that's resin, smoky blue, pigment paste, and white sand, pigment paste. So that's all I used. That was pretty simple, wasn't it? Um, I mean, these ones, these petals here have worked much more, much, much better, I should say, than these middle ones. Um, I just put too much stuff in there and, and it didn't close up. But you can see the effect. It's really pretty. You know, it hasn't got that pop of colour, but sometimes, you know, you just want something that's a little bit more plain, I guess. So there you go how transparent they are there and you can see how this side's a bit darker because that's where I start and then I go around like that and then down here there's not much 
white at all so you get this really 3D kind of a look see that there as well and with the yellow as well you start there so you get a bigger blob and then by the time you've come around here with your silicone brush there's not much left on there so you get that really sort of wispy ethereal look so there we go well it didn't turn out too bad at all <laughs> I was worrying for nothing all right definitely we'll try um, these again um, I have got some other colors that I'd like to use so you don't as you can see don't necessarily have to use white pigment paste other pigment pastes will work but they have to be an opaque you, they won't work with a transparent well it'll work but it'll be slightly different it won't be as dense um, I did that with my peacock um, coasters and bowl you can have a look back on the peacock that was um, like a shimmery pigment paste it wasn't opaque but they worked really well too all right I'll leave it at that thank you so much for watching and um, I'll catch up with you next time for the next video. All right, take care. Bye for now.